Um, do we have to perform wudu when we perform ghusl? And what about what was in the past? This question we've answered so many times. Ghusl is a total bath. So a total bath is called ghusl. But this is divided into two types. One, a religious ghusl, a legislative ghusl, which is used to uplift a major impurity, such as a person in the state of major impurity, Janaba, or a woman who is pure from her menses and she wants to uplift the major impurity. So this <clears throat> is done by performing ghusl. There is a sunnah way of doing it, and there is a normal way, which is just so, totally soak your body, turn the water in your mouth, and sniff and blow your nose with, mot with water. That's it. If you do either one, you are in the state of uh, purity, and you don't have to perform wudu. Because the bigger ritual, the major ritual impurity, underneath it, once uplifted, also uplifts the minor uh, ritual impurity. So two for the price of one. As for the second type of ghusl or total bath, which I do maybe to go to Juma ah or to the Eid. Maybe I do when coming back from the gym or when I'm hot and I just want to freshen up. This can never be used to pray afterwards because wudu was not performed. So there was no major ritual impurity uplifted, and hence the minor ritual impurity was not uplifted, and therefore you cannot pray uh, uh, with that. What had happened in the past, if it is a prayer or two, make them up now. If, it, if you're talking about years, then this is, inshallah, forgiven due to ignorance, and Allah knows best. Maria.